What's up, y'all? Today, we're going to be trying out these real cheddar potatoes. This is a frozen, 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 frozen food product that I found recently, a couple days ago. And it looks right up my alley, man. Cheese and potatoes. Here's a little visual of what it's supposed to look like. I feel like the, uh, I, I don't know what it's going to be like, actually, but it's a cheese filled potato snack type of thing. And I've never really seen anything like this over here, so I'm interested to try it out. It's from a brand called My Dibel, I guess, or probably, that's not how you pronounce it, but Belgian company, supposedly, because on the back it says it's from the Netherlands, so I don't know what's going on there, but shout out to those, both of those places. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just going to cook these up in the oven for like 10 minutes, and and enjoy these. I mean, they, 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 these can't be bad. One thing I know is that when it comes to like kind of crispy fried potatoes, Belgium is where it's at. So let's open these up and see what we're working with first. Yeah, these are substantial. It doesn't so, say how many calories are in these, so I don't know. I'm just gonna eat these until I get tired of them, but I'm gonna do the whole bag for now. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I'll be back. All right, y'all, we found ourselves in a little situation. These didn't really crisp up. They kind of flattened out like we're baking cookies out here, man, but a little bit disappointing. Should still be edible. Let me try out one of these. Hopefully at least we get some cheese. No cheese pull, come on, man. And my phone's going off like a freaking noob out here going in. All right, I can't argue against that flavor. I cannot, I cannot. But the texture, man, this could be so good to me if they were just a little bit more crispy and had more structural integrity. I was expecting kind of like a mott stick. It's kind of a fine line between uh, the cheese just exploding out and getting them nice and, and to the point where you want them. These are so tasty. It's not a bad texture. It just let me down a little bit. It's, it's almost like eating cheesy mashed potatoes in handheld form. There's like literally no, no crisp to it. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, cheddar, the cheese in there is tasty. Tastes like cheese. The potatoes, tastes like potatoes. I feel like past two videos have been good, but like not as good as I was hoping they would be. That's life, I guess. I'm gonna pay all homage to the Europeans though, real quick. A little ketchup mayo combo right here. Great combo with French fries. If you haven't tried it, you probably should. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'll tell you what, though. I can never get that cheese pool, man. I still want to see it executed properly. I don't know. I I might have to get a deep fryer and buy these again just to try it out. Because if these were crispy on the outside, oh my gosh. Mm. 
That would be next level. I polished off that whole bag. So, you know it's good. Yeah, real cheddar potatoes, that's a combo right there. That's a one-two punch. Fell a little bit short on the texture there. I don't know if that was my bad or the oven's fault. Or I was trying everything I could with the oven, but eventually it was just getting out of hand, so I had to pull them. But yeah, man, uh, hopefully the next video I do, the food will be cooked to perfection. We'll see about that. But I'm skating for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.